Hello to all my day drinkers out there, I'm Martini Pictures, and welcome back to Final Fantasy XV after the very eventful episode last time. Let's hope there's more content this time. All set for boarding? You cannot return after departure, depart for Tanabrai? Sure. Yeah, well, let's roll. In that case, hop aboard. We'll be leaving shortly. We're here for you. Yeah. Let us help you. And we're off! Are we clear? Crystal. Hey, watch your step. You're not pushing onward? Not at his expense. Fair enough. <laughs> the heart of a king. I'm keeping this one just for the memories of everything. Chapter 11, In the Dark. Ignis's resolve forces a reconciliation between Noctis and Gladio. I'm not even going to attempt his full real name. And restores harmony to the group. With renewed vigor, the four friends reboard. Reboard? That's, hmm. Never actually seen that as a word. That's weird. Like, you know it exists, but I, I've never actually seen it. The four friends reboard the train and head for Tanabrai, home of the late Lady Lunafreya. Feels good to ride the rails. Sure does. Eager to drive once we're in Gralia? <laughs> if they'll let me. <laughs> <laughs> we're fortunate to have the regalia at all. We owe the first secretary our thanks. She'd get more thanks if she gave us a discount. Those transceivers are top notch. I recall when the Hydrian raged. In the midst of the Empire's retreat, one conspicuous craft remained behind. The Chancellor's. <laughs> the last thing I remember seeing was his ship heading for the altar. I fell unconscious and was powerless to stop him. I'm just glad you're alive. Oh, is someone else there? Gladio, he just came back. Where did he go anyway? On a brief reconnaissance. Something caught my ear. Hey, Captain. Mission complete. Splendid. So what caught your ear? Rumors of longer nights. They've been growing longer day by day. There was talk of it back in Lucis, but recent days have shown an unseasonably sharp change. <sighs> Should this trend continue, before long, there won't be daylight. Well, it's not out of the question. The Empire has already slain half of the Six. No wonder the whole world's in disarray. I guess. And longer nights mean more demons. Seen that with our own eyes. I happened to overhear a fellow passenger discussing this very same phenomenon. So he sent yours truly to seek him out. Nice police work. Well, don't want to keep him waiting. No, we don't. Back in a moment. Sure. Wait, what? Whoa! Oh, there you are, buddy. Did you see this? Oh, it's unreal. Yeah. I went to go turn the angle just to look at him, but then it, like, started making some weird noises. I didn't know what I was... if I did something wrong. Never seen anything like it. It's like a wall Doesn't of clouds. Doesn't make any sense. There's smoke. Huh. Oh. What's going on? It's a real mystery. I'm not liking that snow cloud. Kind of gives me the chills. Like, who comes up with this stuff? I couldn't dream something like this if I tried. It's a wondrous world. The hell are Whoa. you doing here? What's going on? Easy there, buddy. Oh, didn't see that coming. You all right? Shut up! Be careful there! Wait, is this for real? 
Oh, you little bitch. Show yourself. Uh, knocked. That son of a bitch. Come on, knocked. You're scaring me. Seriously, man. Cut it out. It's not safe. Plus, you're causing a scene. You think this is funny? Dude, are you seriously trying to kill me? Yes. Why wouldn't I? I've... Ah, fuck. What are you after following me around this whole time? It's all your fault! What are you talking about? Do you really mean that, Noct? Of course I do! You can't talk your way out of this. You won't even let me, Noct. Please, can't we talk for a sec? Never! <laughs> Why was it frozen? Why was Arden able to go in the same space as me? Wait, 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 hold on. If I've changed physical positions, that means that I was actually frozen. I don't know. I, I, I need to see everything that just went on. So there's like this snow cloud that I thought was a smoke cloud or this giant frozen wall of cloud clouds. And then everything froze in time as if, like, the god was calling me, like, in all those other fights that I've been, been able to call Ramu. But Arden was able to control the time freeze as well. Does he have some connection to the gods as well? Noct, are you okay? No. Where's Arden? Wait, he's here? If he is, that would explain all this weird stuff happening. I bet he's behind the train stopping. Ignis and Gladio went up to inspect the engine room. I say the two of us go check out the rear. Yeah. What's happening? He was boarding the last few train cars in that little cut. Oh shit, what the fuck? Did they bomb us? Not. We have to protect the people. before they get too close if the train takes too much damage the game is over. That thing is huge! We've got company! Yeah. Sure Let the party ah. begin! Yeah. What are the odds we'll win? Yeah. Yeah. Not. He's ready yeah. for round two! Ah. The tank has also begun firing on the train. Point warp to the tank to destroy it before it shoots at the tank if the train takes too much damage. Already there. Oh, 
Apparently, assault crafts have also begun firing on the train. Point warp to the ships to destroy them. Oh wait, operate. They operate. Once inside, force the shock troopers to self-destruct or use one of the turrets to take down the four assault aircraft. If the train takes too much, yeah, okay. What the? What the fuck? She's gonna blow. Going down. What the hell? How long were you in the dark? I thought it was weird why he had Prompto's gun. Is Prompto okay and what did he just do to me that made me pass out in one strike? What the hell? That was a quick chapter. Chapter 12, End of Days, Arden uses a stitch in time to switch appearances with Pronto and tricks Noct into hurting his closest friend. Nevertheless, a king pushes ever onward, accepting the consequences and never looking back. <sighs> Damn it. Where's Arden now and where's Pronto? What happened to him? What's wrong? Ignis, you've got to stop this thing. Prompto fell off the train. I pushed him. I mean, Arden made me. I don't know where he is, but we can't leave him. Stay calm, Noct. I'm as concerned for Prompto as you are. But stopping the train would endanger everyone on board. We'd be sitting ducks for the demons. What do we do? First, we drop the passengers off at Tenebrae. We'll be arriving shortly. What about Prompto? Given the Chancellor's involvement, it's probable he's no longer where we left him. In any case, he may try to contact us. Let us wait and hope for now. Can you make your way here? Gladio's with me. Are the two of you okay at least? Yes. Okay, on my way. Huh? I'll be there as soon as I take care of these stowaways. More? Oh, Jesus. And things just got worse. <laughs> What the hell is that? Oh, just more gargoyles. What? Right at the end of the tunnel. Hold out until the train clears the tunnel. God damn it. What in the world? Oh my god, not a rachne. Those are worse than Arachne. So is Leviathan here to help? At this time I've already received her blessing, but... Her attacks could do so much more damage than help. Good. So she is finally on our side. Well, look who's here. Hey, Aranea. Aranea. 
Guess we've got you to thank for this mess. More to it than meets the eye. You want to know who to thank? Come with me. <laughs> Can't wait to hear this. Where she lived. Huh? What did you do to your eyes? No, oh, uh, just a flesh wound. Can you see? I'm afraid not. Wow, that sucks. It's a cruel world. Uh, wasn't there one more of you guys? Yeah, there was. <sighs> we lost track of him. Is he dead? I, I don't know. Then quit moping, keep hoping. And in the meantime, handle what's at hand. This way! She may be extremely blunt and may not know to how to handle the situation, but at the core so of the situation, you, she is think. a good person. Oh, thank the demons. Pawns of the Imperial Army. The army that you fight for. Fought for. My men and I are in the search and rescue business now. <laughs> you mentioned being part of the relief effort. We have a favor to ask. Ask away. In light of what you've told us, we can't allow the other passengers to continue on. Sure, leave them to me. But who's gonna drive the train? Now that you mention it, yeah. You know anyone? I do. In fact, I know two. Your new engineers. Biggs and Wedge. No need to worry. They can take a lickin'. Only if we have to. What's all this about? Driving a train to Gralia. That all. Well, who would you have me ask? You got us there. We'll do it. Hey, really appreciate you going out of your way. Yeah. No sweat. Hey, thanks for the lift. We're happy to help. Can't say the climate will be as cooperative, though. You know? Right. Especially the gorge. The place is freezing. Makes sense what with the Ice Goddess's cold corpse lying around. It's a rather long ride, so I suggest you bundle up before we ship out. By the way, I bumped into a woman from the manor. Used to serve House Flore. Must have gone off looking for you. Said she had something important to discuss. With me? Guess I ought to find her then. My word. Is that you, Prince Noctis? I... Uh, yeah. Have we... Oh! <gasps> Blessed be the stars. Just look at what a fine young man you've grown into. I am Maria, a retainer in service to House Flore. I doubt you'll remember me after these long years. I, um, can't say I do. Don't worry. Who I am is of little import in light of what I wish to discuss. Lady Lunafreya risked everything to spirit the Ring of the Lucii away from the Citadel. Did she deliver it to you? Yeah. Stars above! My fears have been assuaged. Lord Ravis too will be overjoyed to hear this news. Ravis too. Accept it. By your hand, it must be done. To deliver the ring and inspire the king is your calling. You mustn't fall. But I lack the strength to go on.
Find it, Lunafreya. You have the will. Go to Noctis. Show him the truth of your heart. I understand you will go hence to the Imperial Capital. Yeah. Lord Ravis has King Regis's glaive in his safekeeping, and it was his wish to return it to you, my prince. Though I imagine it will not be easy for you to find each other. I'll get it from him somehow. I pray it shall be so. Prince Noctis! Yeah? Prince Noctis, were... were you excited to marry Lady Luna Freya? Because she was really excited to marry you. She looked so happy the day her dress arrived. She really loved you, Prince Noctis. I... <sighs> Thank you. The character design, the age, first, and the voice actress do not the match had at known all. The fate of his chosen son. Yet in Tenebrae, the two found solace. It was not the Oracle who assuaged their fears. But the girl, she holds the true power. I have little to offer a king other than the voice afforded the Oracle. Nevertheless, and I'm afraid you might find this foolish. But to be together with Noctis again, even if only for a short while, it would mean the world to me. I do not seek to guide him, merely to stand beside him. Lady Lunafreya worried she was burdening you with the wedding. That's not true, is it? No, not at all. Ready to depart. Just swapped out the damage cards for some new ones. Give one of us a holler when you're ready to shove off, then. Dining car's open, if you need a break. Climb aboard. Don't worry about the civilians. They're in my good hands. Can't say the same for you. Watch yourselves in the capital. We will. <laughs> Thanks, Aranea. We'll see you around. It's... snowing. Get your ass on board! Yes, sir. No. No wonder it's so cold in here. We must be approaching the Glacian's cadaver. Won't be a blessing if all we got's a body. Let us hope we pass through the gorge without incident. It's what's after the gorge I'm worried about. Noctis is free to roam about the train until it arrives. Examine. Stop exploring the train and rest until arrival? No. Once we get through Gore of us, we're there. We've come quite a long way. The fall of the Empire? After its forces suffered uh, crippling casualties against the Hy Hydrian, in Altitia, High Commander Ravis Knox Fleure was sentenced to capital punishment. Holy shit. However, the Imperial Army has not yet to appoint a successor to the late Lord Fleure. Moreover, waves of Magitech troopers gone haywire have fled. Hollux armory and begun assaulting the citizenry could this be the karmic retribution of those who turn their bo backs on the gods a <laughs> box how could this be hey 
What's up? Okay, thanks for letting us know. Who was that? I wonder what it could be this time. Attention now. Yeah? What's wrong? You may have noticed we stopped. As for the cause, our side of it... We'll take a look. Oh, um... I hope it's just a quick snow shoveling job. Indeed. It's freezing. You better keep moving to stay warm. The Glacian did this. I think I can see her. It's a shame. She's lying dead. Oh, Lord. A death claw. Holy shit! Isn't the death claw a uh, fallout thing? I don't know that. That took way too long for that fight. Hey, knocked! What's up? You better get in here. Something's Got not it. right. Come on in. in a sack. Right. No way. You hold it! Son of a bitch. What the hell? Why is Arden showing up all of a sudden now? Or is this just another mind trick? Oh, what the? Come on, knock this. Get up. Why not lend them a hand? <laughs> a coldness that can only be hers. this star since time immemorial each of a different mind but united by this common purpose the gods protection extends to all creatures here below even to the mortals created in their image they are feeble creatures leading fragile lives and clinging to foolish fancies 
The Frostbearer scorns these visions of hope, which melt like snow in the sun's light. Yet the Pyre Burner admires their strength of will. For their reverence, he grants unto them his flame, and the world of man flourishes. His benevolence warms the frozen heart of the Frostbearer. The mortals have earned her respect, he, her love and admiration. It is not long, however, before some among those men ascend to new heights of hubris. The people of Solheim spurn the gods who blessed them, the gods they once worshipped. The ungrateful mortals incur the wrath of the pyre burner. He seeks to raise the very civilization his flames once helped build. But the six are sworn to defend the star and all her inhabitants from harm. And, at times, from one another. The flames of war surge as Solheim fends off the pyre burner's fire. The gods' pleas for peace fall on deaf ears, and the battle rages on. When the smoke clears, the world of man is in ruins. Their star left scarred for time eternal. Wearied from war, the six seek solace in slumber. This tale of our shared past is entrusted to the King of Kings. That he may see it to its conclusion. In the days that follow the war, while the six are still asleep, the pyre burner is sought by a man who draws him away from the light. His peril is sensed by the frost bearer. She rushes to his aid, only to be felled by the foreign hordes. Those masses are now one with the darkness. Darkness that before long will swallow the six and the star they protect. This star's fate no longer rests in the hands of the gods. It sits on the shoulders of the Chosen. Deliver this world from darkness and grant my love release. I promise I will. The Oracle is no longer of this world, but her thoughts remain, and they must be known. When the boy begins his existence on this star, the girl is met by the High Messenger. It is ordained that she will work with him to return the light. The girl reaffirms that promise. The High Messenger is moved by the girl's determination, her heart warmed by the girl's benevolence. Her faith in mankind is restored once more. Sister, cease this madness. That boy will never be king. Noctis is chosen. It is ordained. You of all people should know. I know that you are throwing your life away. That may be. But it's my choice. If only... If only I could hear his voice once more. If we could laugh together as we did as children. <laughs> if we could live out our days together as we once dreamed. Wherefore does the lady weep? Forgive me. I vowed to only cry where prying eyes cannot see the tears of mine. Yet others need not hide their grief. Is she so different from them? No. She is no different at all. She wants exactly what they do. To be with the one she loves. But want though she may. It is not to be. The lady's thoughts have been hurt. The love she bears the king shall never fade. And, in time, her feelings shall be known unto him. Gentiana. And if the words are not spoken from her lips, then the messenger shall see that they are heard. The god's favor and the lady's love shall be with him evermore. 
Thus it is promised between the Oracle and her familiar. I am undeserving of your kindness. Thank you. So the promise is fulfilled. As her words go with him, so shall my blessing. Yeah. Thanks. O King of Kings, restore the light unto this world. Farewell, dear Noctis. Luna, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I couldn't be there for you. Not even when you needed me most. There was so much you wanted to say. So much I wanted to say. And now... I'll never have the chance. I'm so sorry. I've got chills right now. It, it, I just like just like a wave went over me. That was weird. you down. I know you won't. Luna, you and I will be together again someday. I promise. <laughs> now can I kill Arden? In one fell swoop. Oh. What are you looking at? Hey, wake up. Now, what happened? No. Are you all right? Yeah. I saw the glacier. It's okay. She's gone now. You guys, check out our drivers. Got it. You good? Yes, I'm fine. Let's go. I feel I've earned the right to call you not. For a moment, I felt death's chill wind. Such is the might of the gods. But then I remembered I'm immortal. Such is my blessing and curse. Your attack hurt me, nevertheless. My feelings, at least. And after all the memories we've shared, remember this. Ah, I should have asked if you remember him. Truly a blast from the past. Nay. Ah, ah, ah. You mustn't take what's not yours. Where is he? He? <laughs> the little gunman's a short shot away. Where? Where else but Gralia, the seat of the Empire? I'm sure he'll be delighted to see you. And you might even find your crystal. With all these demons about, you could certainly use it. <laughs> Off you go, then. 
I wouldn't want to keep you from your friend. <laughs> End of days. <sighs> With Arden saying that he's immortal, that makes me think that he might be the uh, Pyro, whatever. I forget the term that they used. Instead of Glacian or Archean, he was the Pyron? So something like that. He's basically the fire. I think that's what they're hinting at in this oh well chapter 13 redemption having stolen noctis's country crystal and cherished companions arden waits implacably implacably in gralia hmm oh well i probably said that wrong both ways do i care nope we should be drawing close to gralia yeah. I can't imagine what it'll be like. Swarming with demons, but he knew that. <laughs> Don't remind me. Once we arrive, we'll make for the keep. The keep? Zegnortus, an imperial megafortress said to be impregnable. With Prompto and the crystal inside it. What goes in must come out. So. Are we buying the story that the crystal can purge demons? The proof is in the purging, but it does stand to reason. We've observed that as the nights have grown longer, the demon hordes have grown stronger. If they are in fact averse to the crystal's light, it could save not only Lucis, but the world. <laughs> we'll find out once we take it back. The hell? What is it? My guess. Something to sidetrack us. Again? Holy! <laughs> what now? Let's get to work. What's wrong? Uh, Come on, get stop. back! <laughs> Come on, move it! Ah, shit. Arden has stripped Noctis of his weapons. Flee to the freight car at the back of the train. The ability to call Umbra is also unavailable. Oh, shit. Oh, wait, what? I'm running that way? Only a matter of time before we run out of room to run. Got a better idea? We trade the train for the regalia. Come on! On my way! Knocked! The freight car! Keep moving! I'm trying. Strap in. Yeah. Got it. Also, this is the addition that I had made before making it into the type D. Threat upgraded. Activating level four security measures. Sealing all gates. The city defense the city's defense system has begun sealing all entrances, making it into Gralia before the gate uh, make it for whatever reason I combined both sentences into one. Make it into Gralia before the gate closes. Put the pedal to the metal. That's the idea. Don't crash. Thanks for the tip. Where are we now? Inside a tunnel, on the train tracks. Don't slow down, or they'll catch us up. Going as fast as I can, hang on. Despite for being in such a hectic situation and having, ah, uh, the stupid fog, oh. Uh, what was that? Blow us off the tracks. Oh shit. One clean hit and it's over. It'll take a bit more than that to stop his majesty's trusty steed. Ah. Dodging one thing to run into another. The regalia can take the punishment. Just focus on your driving. Yeah, no problem. Ah. Get through this. Shit. It's closing. For it. Come I'm... on, old girl. Oh, shit. 
Did I take too much damage? Or is this just part of the scene? That's all she's got. It'll do. for everything. Are we seriously marching into the capital empty-handed? And with no assurances, the crystal can beat back the demon hordes. Guess we'll find out the hard way. No turning back now, right? <sighs> now this thing could come down at any time. Let's be quick. Come on, this way. Ah. They're completely gone? Who will you follow? Uh Gladio and Ignis or Noctis? Um I'd rather follow Noctis's journey. Chapter 13 verse 2 is now available. Access by switching to Gladio at dormitoriums. Huh. Ah oh, shit. Look at you. Oh by lonesome. I forgot that I don't have any weapons. You know, for an Imperial Chancellor, you were one sick son of a bitch. Demons, the hell do you want? Leave me alone! This is getting out of hand. Harbored with the ring of Lushi, Lu, Lushai, Arcana encompasses three powerful spells. The first of these is Death, which drains a foe's life force to restore your own. I can just kill something on command? Looks like it's connected below. Might be my ticket to the top. Find switches to power up doors and elevators in order to continue on Zagnatus keep where the crystal is being held. A 
That's the way to the elevator taken care of. A spell of Arcana wholly counters the blast of sacred light when evading, making it effective against melee enemies. Cast the spell just before an attack lands to deal more damage. Oh, so that's how it works. Save manually at dormitoriums found throughout Gralia and Zegnatus. Keep. Huh. Should be safe to rest here. Huh. Weird. So long as that's saved, I'm gonna leave it right here for you guys. Because this episode has gone on way too long already. I don't know what's supposed to come next. Oh boy. All I can really say is if you liked any part of this video, don't forget to leave a like down below. Leave any comments for any videos you'll see in the future. And don't forget to subscribe as well as ring the bell to let you know when I post another video. But in the meantime, I'll be signing off. Riggy Tony, guys, smash you.